it, was, it wasn't very long ago that we actually got the final diagnosis. Although she's been suffering with it for years, it's fairly recently that it was diagnosed. My close friends were just relieved really, <laughs> like I was just, because now I don't have to have so many tests and things. When the diagnosis came through and we knew what it was, I thought, oh that's great because we'll be able to find a cure for it now, we'll be able to get things, get help for her. Unfortunately, it hasn't been quite as simple as that. <laughs> Basically, um, when I sleep, I don't produce, my brain doesn't produce the same chemicals that everybody else's brain does. Um, and it's partly um, a lack of serotonin when I'm sleeping, so my muscles don't relax properly. And that means that during the day, um, every time I use my muscles for anything, they don't properly relax afterwards. She does take medication to try and help with that. But unfortunately, you can't take too much of it. If you take too much, then you can become very depressed. Can't remember ever having a night where I haven't woken up during it. And I generally don't get to sleep. I'm, I'm in constant pain, I'm in pain now. And no painkillers make it go away. I do worry that she'll get really upset about it because it's something that's with her all the time and she's got to be pretty strong to sort of get past actual physical pain. She, she definitely wouldn't go out to a busy pub and I think she misses out on an awful lot of the student life that she should be enjoying. And that we, you know, we wanted Holly to leave home and go to university so that she would have that. But she's just not physically able to take part in it. Cigarette smoke makes it much, much worse, um, which limits my social life somewhat and it makes it quite difficult because I can only really make friends with people who don't smoke. She visits the chiropractor on a regular basis and she has massage a lot of the time um, and she's obviously on medication. I would go to the <laughs> masseur every day but I can't afford it. Um, it vibrates and I just put the ball mainly on my shoulders because that's the most painful part. I can't think about you know what will happen when she has a family or anything like that because it may not get any worse it, it, you know it may just stay as it is now. I'm just gradually trying everything that I can think of um, in the hope that something will make it go away.